What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more Need for Speed No Limits. Time to dive into episode 157 for some more of the daily grind. We have more PVPs, more tuner trials, more car series, more campaign replayables, and possibly, and definitely some more cartooning. Let's get into it. We grabbed our gold and our race skips. Let's grab the first of five free upgrade crates of the day. I did grab my premium crate outside of the videos, and I'll show you what I got here in just a little bit. Lubricant. Very nice. Blueprints. Nothing gonna go. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, a lot gonna go here, but uh, nothing I'm really gonna go for. As far as materials, well, right now we can't really get anything. I mean, we can, but it's gonna cost me quite a bit if I. I think I'm just gonna go for like the basicness you know stuff that I know I can grab really quickly it's not gonna break the bank I can go ahead and get all these I can go ahead and get all those And I don't need another nitro component. Actually, no, because I will, because I'm going to be doing a rebuild. In fact, let me go ahead and do one of those rebuilds right now. In the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you what I did get. So let's go over to the sports car category, and let's go over to this BMW. If you've been paying a little bit of attention, you would notice... I actually got a brand new nitro kit that came with my premium crate. Uh, so instead of a uncommon nitro, I have a rare nitro now. It only bumped up my performance by about three or four perform uh, performance points. So not a huge bump by any means, but it's still an improvement upon what I had initially. So, and it's good because I am still using this M4. I also could have done something to, to the GTR, but I chose not to. Supercar category, on the other hand. Well, we're not going to do any of that just yet. My main focus is actually a rebuild with this car. Let's go ahead and get this rebuild. All right. And then I'm glad I actually bought off three of those because that means I have one extra for the M3 GTR and I still have the four that I need for the Land Rover Range Rover uh, Sport SVR. So, and then we'll add more materials here in a little while, but right now my money is very, very, very short. Like stupid short <laughs> like like I'm I'm basically broke now I might be able to do this actually I won't even be able to do that so yeah but it is fine because we will hop out of there and we will go ahead and hop into the PVPs we still have 11 hours 42 minutes left in these PVPs and I did a little bit of racing. Just a little bit. Made quite a bit of progress. Let's see if we can make further progress. It's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Mostly because of car performance. So, going up against Miyake. Clean little Selby. I like the black paint with the silver racing stripes. Wheels don't quite match, but I'm not going to be too picky about that. Clean little Shelby. A fantastic start off the line.
and across the line. An unexpected win, to say the least. An unexpected win, but a win nonetheless. Actually, here's what I'm thinking I might do here. Because I did a little bit of contemplating for Underground Insider as far as to what uh, parts and materials I should get. I'm thinking about just going with the two epic parts instead of two legendary. But we'll see. Clean M3, no body kit, different wheels. Kept it simple. Doesn't look bad. Oh, he gained a lot right there. I gained more. Come on, come on. Doing good so far. That's actually a good run. Alright, let's see if we can get into S tier. If we can get into S tier, that'd be great. Though it's not going to be easy. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I literally have three shots to try to do this. That means if I lose and then I win the next two, we still make it into S tier. But it's not going to be easy. Especially when we have to go up against a Shelby. That could be highly overperformed, uh, highly uh, highly tuned compared to mine. At least a good launch. Is it gotta run my race? Can't focus on him so much. I shouldn't have took that jump, it was fine. That helped and we got it, we got it, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and did we level up? I think we leveled up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, we did it. 15 blueprints for the Jaguar E-Top Lightweight. That means we only need 15 more to get it fully staged up. Oh, and we did level up. We're at level 120. Rep level 120. Fantastic. What a drive. Honestly, it wasn't easy, but we did it. All right. Just because I kind of want to see what I could do here, we're going to hop into, yes, the breakneck division. We might get our neck broke, but that is A-OK -okay, because all part of the drive. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I, I, I like it when some people have similar ideas to mine. Though his is different. Because he kept the stock wheels, which I thought about doing, but I didn't. It looks good in black, though. Granted, basic, but still good looking. There we go. Capitalize on taking the racing line here. 
Here's the, there it is. Damn, I was racing against the jet. Only reason why I didn't keep up with the jet is because I lost my nitrous at one point. Oh, see, I honestly ex expected the other driver to have better performance than I did. So to see an M4 that was lower rated than mine is a bit of a surprise, to be honest with you. That honestly was a bit of a surprise. I expected their car to be better performance rate. Like, probably this next car will be. <laughs> what kind of rap is that? I kind of don't want to know. Different track, so could be at a disadvantage here. Uh, actually, I am going to be at a disadvantage here considering. I kind of figured I'd lose it here, but it's fine. Honestly, my first time driving that course, I expected to lose, especially with that performance difference. But I stayed within the realm of a second, so not disappointed. A nine tenths off his pace, so. Uh, so that's five underground rival races complete. Hopping out of there, let's grab the second free upgrade crate of the day. And then head straight into the PVPs. Now, it is Sunday. That means all access is available. We're going to focus on the currency races. A regulator. Nice. So, yeah, that, that'll be our main focus for PVPs. Or, excuse me, tuner trials for today. Is the money races. My goodness, my nose itches. <laughs> Allergies kicking my tail, man. We all need speed, but make sure you slow down and enjoy the ride sometimes, too. Aha, beat the jet. I <laughs> beat the jet. Honestly, I wish that I had um, leveled up before I started doing all these events. Because that means they would have replenished my fuel. So I kind of sort of wasted a level up in the sense of my fuel. In fact, had I thought about it, I rather, probably would have done the tuner trials first. Then I would have done the um, PVPs. Of course, not knowing that whether or not I would have leveled up in the PVPs or not. Then I would have done the car series where I know for a fact I would have leveled up. But it's fine. Ooh, a fantastic start.
Hold it. Oh, way to hold a drift. Shit. All right. That is actually get some good driving. All right, let's go and restore. That's the two tuner trials taken care of. Well, let's keep it going. Was close. Damn, that was fast. Probably would have been just a little bit faster because I did lose some speed in one of the corners trying to like you know make my line just right as far as like driving line but still managed to get it and managed to lay it on a really fast time Just barely missed out on that perfect launch, but it's fine. Cross the line under 25 seconds. Probably would have had a sub 24 second run had I probably not missed that launch and drove just a little bit faster. Yeah, I felt like I could have drove faster than that, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just don't drive to you, the abilities that you think. Also, I'm realizing that I'm spending a whole bunch of gold when I don't need to. I mean, it's too late now. I don't know already spent it, but it's fine. Because honestly, I need the money anyway, so why not? Ah, no, an over rev. Whoa, Jesus, the okay, was close. That wall was coming up pretty quick. And across the line. crazy with that late of a launch I still only managed to be a second slower than what that would have been if I had a perfect launch you ever take a couple tenths
Damn it. It worked! It worked! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that was, that was for all those times where you just absolutely just bullied me off the road, bro. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. All right. So, let's hop out of there. And I did want to grab something in the black market. I still have some stuff to grab in the black market. Some materials. Nitro mechanism. Ah, see, I knew I needed one for the M3 GTR anyway, so it made sense. Also, we're going to go ahead and grab, we already have a nitro kit. We're going to go ahead and grab this carbon. All right. Grab that, and the third free crate of the day. A wheel component. Very nice. That's a uh, wheelie nice. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so, super. We're going to go ahead and add this. ECU. We're going to add those into here. We'll get more segments for the... Um, RX-7 later on because right now I did want to just add stuff to these cars nitro components there because I ha knew I have enough for it so that's the beauty of planning when it comes to what parts and materials you're gonna use so let's go with the sport category now today's um car uh international women's day 2023 wrap car that we're featuring today is this beautiful porsche cayenne turbo gt honestly i like the look it has a very jamaican look to it in fact all the colors are jamaican flag colors so I dig it. Now, if we go over to the mod shop and go over to wrap, and then over here, and it tells you what color uh, candy yellow. So, very nice. Now, we're not going to work on any of these cars here. We're going to go over to Muscle just to take a look. I could work on the Mustangs. We'll come back to y'all. Main focus, of course, is M3 GTR. I think one of these had a rebuild coming if I added the carbon. This. Add that and rebuild. So now the ECU is at its maximum potential. And we're at 800 gold. I like it. Also, we can go ahead and add this or these two parts materials. Excuse me. Nitro mechanism. Very nice. All right, and we are some more steps closer to being maxed out. Let's 
speaker maxing out, let's go over to this ARC-7, wherever it is. Oh, nothing to do for the ARC-7. Uh, now let's go back to muscle. Hmm, now there's nothing to do with the 4GT. 4GT. The Mustang GTs. Now nothing to do with the two Mustangs, so... Because we still have an M2 to rebuild the majority of those parts for as well. But we're not going to really touch it, so... Hopping in now to the car series. Let's keep going. And to finish out Blacklisted. Honestly, I think this is the quickest that we went through a car series. Uh, series, you know. Literally have the last two races in this car series. A Nitro Rush and I believe it an, an airborne race. I have to look at it again. I didn't fully pay attention. Three hundred fifteen miles an hour. Despite all that crashing I did. Goodness gracious, we was flying. We was we was really flying. There's the nine, there should be ten traffic cars, nine daily assignments complete, and an airborne race. So I was right. I honestly guess, but I was right. And honestly, my main focus this race is going to be taking jumps. In fact, I'm going to try to beat this race without nitrous. just under 40 seconds that was good all right good enough to get the win and plenty of hang time at that and a wheel scanner to be honest with you I might not keep it but we'll see so car series complete and that's two, another quarter of a million dollars added to the bank. So now we're a little bit over half a million dollars in the bank account. Along with 12 race wins. Very nice. So, moving on to the good old days. That's right. We're hopping into this uh, car series. But only for one race, which is Rush Hour.
Now this ought to be interesting. Towards the front of the pack, and by the front I mean when I get up there, it's going to be a pretty classic car battle. Because we have this Shelby, or excuse me, Corvette Stingray 427 Shelby. It's a Chevrolet. I don't know how I get Shelby and Chevrolet mixed up. That's a clean Shelby right there. It's literally Shelby versus Chevrolet. And I hear the whine of that supercharger too. Damn, that sounds good. This race is literally gonna be two minutes long. There you going through basically the whole desert. Just about. See we can finish this in under two minutes. Probably not gonna happen, but we tried. I think I waited too long to use my nitrous at the start, but it's fine. Under two minutes, four seconds. That's honestly the longest race that I can remember that I've done on Need for Speed No Limits. But look at the money we made! Oh my goodness, that is stupid amounts of money. Finished under 205, 210, and 215 as far as the minutes and seconds of time elapsed. Alright, and that's three car series events complete, done, and dusted. And let's go ahead and grab the fourth free crate of the day. And then what I will do is I'll actually end this episode right here. Because we do have day two of the Underground Insider Live event coming up. I'm going to go ahead and record that here in a little bit. So ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining. Tune in next time for episode 158 uh, for day two of the Underground Insider. Like and subscribe for more content. Also, for other racing and motorsport and gaming content. I'll leave links to different channels in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining. Much love, much appreciation. It's your boy Warner Brother, and I'm out. Peace.